A Conservative Party councillor who happens to be a Christian has now been officially cancelled by the Conservative Party for expressing Conservative and Christian views. This is about King Lowell, um, who was until now essentially a Conservative uh, Party local councillor. Uh, now, this story is interesting because uh, a lot of people from, from a certain part on the right they're, they're going to get uh, kind of black and white and some people, a lot of people on the left they're also going to make it black and white from their perspective so i'm going to try and bring some nuance into this and be objective because there's one thing about people's opinions and views and faith and everything else and there's one thing about the other thing is about um action especially people in the position of power policy decisions so let's get into it because the conservative party decided to say no and reject him and say basically we don't want to be associated with this person how dare you be a a conservative christian and how dare you you can be a conservative christian but don't you couldn't you can't really say it so now in terms of what he said he tweeted something controversial right for modern britain so i get this in terms of the outrage so responding to the pride uh, the pride event when he tweeted uh, when did pride become a thing to celebrate so so far okay nothing bad here <laughs> and then it said because of uh, pride satan fell as an archangel this is just a faith opinion pride is not a virtue but a sin those who have pride should repent of their sins and return to jesus christ he can save you hashtag pride month hashtag pride 23 hashtag pride 20. <laughs> so many hashtags so for modern britain for liberals the the view is not acceptable we get it right that's just how it is but we still have christians in this country and a lot of conservatives are Christians, right? So the view itself exists. That that view exists. It's about action. So, for example, Jacob rees has always been quite clear. He's always said, I'm a Catholic. My personal view, my personal opinion and my faith says that, you know, these, these are my views. Oh, no, these are my positions on certain things, including abortion, including uh, gay marriage. But he said, if I'm prime minister, if the consensus in, in the country is to go the other way around, I'm not going to change the law because I believe in democracy. So that's, this is where the nuance it comes in. So, for example, he, this guy responded saying, what I said was biblically sound and a, a protected expression of the Christian faith. I agree with him. Then he said, as the only black councillor in the whole of Northamptonshire, I know what it is like to be in the minority. And I would never discriminate against anyone. That's why his um, official line is that I was targeting uh, or criticizing pride rather than LGBT. But obviously it was implied. Now, he says, I have diligently represented all my constituents. However, I must also be free to express my beliefs without fear. The blunt emails and cancellations I received were shocking and hurtful. Hmm. There was no respect, no conversation and no reasonableness. Um okay hurtful this is the thing so to be devil's advocate i want to be new to bring nuance into this if he's saying that he was hurt by the way the conservative party reacted to it well the the lgbt community that you know there are a lot of non-woke lgbt people out there who would say well for us even the words that you, you tweeted that are hurtful so my position is i don't care about words you can be hurt either way, both of them, the, the, the council and the LGBT people. I don't really care. You can be hurt because it's subjective anyway. But what I'm concerned about, if this councillor were to uh, in, in, implement some sort of authoritarian policy program, for example, to cancel LGBT people, that's my line because that's just individual liberty. I don't care what you can do in your life. Just be whoever you want. On these issues, I'm a libertarian. But at the same time, like a Christian expression should be protected. It's just words. Get over it. If you were to introduce some sort of motion in the local council, then fine, you can kick off and we can have a debate about whether a Conservative Party councillor should be able to change the law, hypothetically. But otherwise, he should be allowed to tweet that. And of course, you guys could be hurt. But if someone's going to also kick off about him, he's going to get hurt. Yeah, you can feel hurt as well, councillor. I don't care. <laughs> So that's my position on this. But obviously these days we don't do nuance. No one wants to be objective. Everyone wants to be emotional. Everyone wants to be tribal. And everyone wants to pick a position just to be against the other side. And this is where we are going wrong in our culture, in the, in the West in general. This is what we actually imported from America. 
over the last few years. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Considering actually, uh, one, of, one of the main issues we have is that Christians are being cancelled anyway, and uh, they can't even express their opinions. This is a very, very dangerous territory. And right now, if, if this were a Muslim counsellor, no one would have said anything. That's, a, that's also a very difficult position. Anyway, let me know what you think. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.